I've been told by my faraway traveler that I look like I'm a New Yorker here dressed like this. And I was just thinking, I was like a goth girl because I get to wear all black for once. And I get to wear my hat alongside everybody. I'm going to say this early because you won't yeah. say you won't say it. Yay! Um, you won't say it early with me, but nasi sinabe. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to the cafe. Aloha, everybody. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. I can't clap. This is the best I can do. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And just because I should be doing the, the yeah, well, somebody already yelled it out. I should do the toast with it because I've got it. So everybody, thank you, Baki. Thank you, thank you, Baki. Dobre veche, everybody. Yay. I toast to you. Thank you. I've got the beer. I can do it. I've got it, definitely. I want to get, the, I want to get all of my... <clears throat> my Serbian and my well, Turkish roots out of the way or something. Well, they're not my roots, but, but I have to thank everybody for this place. Thank you so very much. Um, I am. I feel blessed to be here this evening because I've got great food, and I hope everybody's got some good food and some good drink. I know the owner's running around like a madman right now to get food and everything for everybody, which is awesome. It's totally awesome. And I have a deal for anybody who actually purchases food. I've got a crate that's sitting back here that is filled with books. If you would like to pick a book because I like you, you could have a book just because you're getting food because that's, you're just, you so deserve it. So, it's, you know, something. So, please. The food here right here is phenomenal, phenomenal. I haven't tried everything. So, it's, it's really, really good. So, I'd love it if you would have some more. So. Um, we just recently did a show at Swing States, which was set with video, which was really funny because they said, oh, you're supposed to have video. And I'm like, I've got a bunch of pieces, but I have no video. So I took a lot of my past performance art shows or things were on skydiving or something. I just got rid of the sound and had those going while I was reading. And they were like, oh my god, that was perfect. It looked like it was totally planned the way you had it. I'm like, well, I tried to sort of, but it was just whatever I had on hand. And because we had a music show that was actually canceled in the beginning of December, I've got another hour-long show at Swing State way up north, which is more women's issues stuff. Um, the thing that was amazing, and I have to share this about the last show, is it was a show called Sexism and Other Stories, and there was a lot of things, because it was a long show that talked about rape or terminology for women or, you know, the differences between the sexes. And after the show, somebody said, I really liked you, somebody said, I really liked your show, it was really good. And I'm like, thank you so much, because I didn't know how men would take it. And he said, well, actually, I was a bit pit off with it at first. And I expected that. And he said, but then I asked myself, why is it bothering me? You know, you know that, I'm, that I'm talking about terminology of how men refer to women. And you say, hey, you're a baby, you're a honey, you're anything less than a human, blah, blah, blah. You know, that was a sample of one of the poems. He said, then I started to wonder, why am I feeling put off by these things? And I started reevaluating these things and wondering what I did in my past. And, and you really made me think. And I was like, awesome. That was all I wanted. Thank you so much. I was honored because that's what I try to do with that. As long as people think, whether or not they agree with what you're saying or whatever, if you're thinking about it, it's a good sign. So I was thrilled. And because the music show fell through um, last minute, I'm going to be doing another sex and her show, but it will not be <laughs> as hard ass as the other one was. And I will have male readers including John Yatko, who couldn't be here for the rest of the evening this evening. Um, but one of the pieces that he was going to read is a piece of mine that was from a, a piece of an expanded poem that I had written called Kida Survival. Um, but this is perfect for a male perspective to read called Raped with the Words. I knew a woman who went on a date with a friend of mine. And after the date, he talked about how great she was. He, he told me about how they talked about their future and what they both wanted. He, he described the inside of her house, but after he left messages for her repeatedly, she never called him back again. 
But I saw this woman weeks later at a Starbucks, and she said she felt bad that she'd been avoiding him and us, but, but she never wanted to see him again. Because during the date, they never talked about what they wanted. He just talked about what he wanted, like how she wouldn't hold a job. She'd be taking care of the home. The man's the one that makes the money. And he even told her how many of his children she would bear. She wouldn't let her into her home. Does that mean he was looking through her windows when he said he saw her place? And she said that after the date, she showered for hours because she felt mentally raped. And, you know, hearing her story, it makes me realize that you can rape someone with words. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. I say that one because although that was a male friend of mine, it works better in a man's voice, and he'll be reading that and, and other stuff later on in the show, and I'll have videos somehow in stuff for this. What I've seen on average, 100 hits a week from what it's so, people out that are nowhere around can check out your show, which is really kind of cool. You also have YouTube clips that are up for us, so you want to say, oh, you didn't get any podcast, you can always go to that. So, chaoticarts.org slash the cafe, you can get up details for that. And I have to tell you about stuff for the rest of the week. Molly Cat. Thank you, because she's going to be here from out of town again with Justin. It's going to be here for the week before, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, which should be a really cool show. I love it when these people come from far away and do these awesome shows. It's really phenomenal. Um, but I'm double plus, please, because once we get back and we're all like so double plus stuffed from eating a lot, we've got Bob Rashka as our feature on November 30th. Woo! Yay! Yeah, girl, right up. And, and then Judith Wicker is our feature on December 7th. And the unsub, the, um, the poet of genius that was here just a week ago, has got the feature for November, December 14th. He was the one that won, what was it, Shirley? Poetry Pentathlon. He oh, won the Poetry Pentathlon. He, he, he's freaking phenomenal. And he's like, is there a spot for next year? And I'm like, there's one in December if you want one. So, so he's going to be here and he's a phenomenal reader. And I so want to have everybody coming here. And thank you so very much. Now, I know that it seems like a, a disastrous thing to have to be able to buy drinks at a place in order to be able to come here. But I'm like, I didn't even finish mine because it's still over there. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I'm looking at it from other schedules. It was even suggested to me, you go to a place in New York, it's like an $8 cover plus a drink in a moment. So this is actually quite a deal. And this place has been around. This place has supported the Cafe and Cafe Aloha has supported this venue since December 1996. And it so deserves it. And the food is phenomenal. And I thank every one of you for coming out here. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you next week and thank you all thank you once again thank you thank you